51 days, 51 recipes, today is day 11. We're cooking our way through Come Fix You a Plate, food you'll actually cook, and today we're making goat cheese potatoes au gratin. This one has all my favorite things. One, I adore goat cheese potatoes and bacon, you can't go wrong with this. If you don't like goat cheese, just swap it out for cheddar or something that you do like. Got about five slices of bacon here diced up and we always start our bacon in a cold pan. Put that on medium high heat. And the reason we always start cold is that it gives that fat time to melt out of that bacon. It's not gonna be scorching and popping and smoking back at us. We'll level with y'all here. This was one of those recipes that I had a hell of a time writing. Y'all take a lot of liberties with these measurements here. This is one of those dishes that I never really make the same way twice and I kind of just eyeball everything. The bacon's crispy, so I'm putting it on a paper towel lined plate. I've got a good bit of bacon fat in here, but I'd like a little bit more fat. So I'm gonna throw in maybe about a quarter stick of butter and one shallot that I've diced up very fine. Melt this butter down and cook that shallot just for a minute. It's not gonna take long. If you've never cooked with shallots before, don't let them intimidate you. It sounds really fancy, but all it is is an onion garlic clove. All right, this shallot right here is their illegitimate love child and they ain't no better than you are. All right, let's put some flour in and you already know what we're doing. We're making a roux for a cheese sauce. So we're just gonna cook this for a couple minutes to get that raw flour taste off. Now the cookbook calls for chicken stock. I don't have any. We're gonna use water and I'll just add some bouillon. I'm gonna switch to a whisk. Throw in some heavy cream. Oven's preheated to 400. Heat should be all the way down on a simmer at this point. I got some better than bouillon I'm gonna put in. Season this up however you want. I'm gonna put some garlic powder in, some black pepper, some salt. Mine's a little thick, so I'm gonna put some milk in and thin it out. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, we are totally off script at this point. We're just going with what sounds good. I don't even know what the book says anymore. Let's get our cheese going in here. So I've got two little four ounce blocks of this goat cheese. Now, like I said in the beginning, if you do not like goat cheese, use whatever kind of cheese you want. The premise for potatoes au gratin is the same. We're just gonna go low and slow and whisk this around until it's nice and smooth. This is an eight ounce block of Gruyere cheese. Now I always put half in my potatoes and I put the other half over the top, but today I wanna do a breadcrumb topping. So I'm just gonna put half in and I'll just bag the rest of this up and keep it in the fridge. That'll be good on a turkey sandwich or something. All right, bacon's going back in. I've got about a pound and a half of these little baby red potatoes. I like to keep the skins on and I just cut them up in little bite-sized pieces. I've already washed them. They've been sitting and draining for a little while, so they're pretty dry. Okay, here we go. We're looking really good. Today, I'm gonna put it in this because I wanna see what it's like to have a more shallow layer and see how they come out. This is looking really good already. For the crumb topping, I'm gonna to melt a stick of butter in the microwave. In this bowl right here, I've got equal parts panko breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese. And a lot of y'all ask me where I get this Asiago and Romano Parmesan cheese. I get this in Walmart and I get it over in the aisle by like uh, the pasta sauces and the pasta and stuff. I put parsley in here just cause y'all know we like to feel cute. Don't put all the butter at first. Let's do maybe half and see how it looks. All right, that was perfect. It sticks together if you mush it, but it's still crumbly. This is going over the top. Now cover this hoe up with tinfoil. I'm gonna bake it at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. All right, here's our dinner plates. We got Brussels sprouts and bacon, goat cheese, potatoes au gratin, and porky piccata-ish. So these potatoes went 30 minutes covered and 15 minutes uncovered, and there was a minor up. I should have kept that breadcrumb topping to go in after they were uncovered, but I think it's still gonna be okay. Let's see. Oh my God. And I ain't mad at that breadcrumb topping. Holy shit. I've made these a whole bunch of times, but I think this is my best batch yet. All right, I'll see you back here tomorrow. We're gonna make these pork chops in less than 15 minutes. Y'all come fix you a plate of this.